so much. Uh, Mr. Falk. Thank you, thank you Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you to the Minister for coming to the Committee. Uh, I was recently watching uh, a panel discussion where you and the Minister of Health were dis uh, discussing the marijuana legislation, the proposed marijuana legislation, um, and I forget even who the host was, but of particular interest to me was a comment that you made that you had not ever been a cannabis user, nor did you expect to be after this legislation was passed. And, uh, and so I, my, my first question, and, and, and I'll ask them both, but is, uh, is, is why, why is it not a good thing for you, but it's okay for others and, and even for the youth of our society uh, to have access to cannabis as a recreational drug? And so that's my first question, and, uh, and, I, and, uh, and I commend you for your position, your personal position. Uh, but secondly, when I look at the legislation that uh, you say you're very proud of that your government has, uh, has presented uh, so far in the last year and a half, and I, and I look at C-14, which, uh, which is the medical assistance in dying legislation, which now allows uh, Canadians to, to legally have their lives terminated with the assistance of a physician. Uh, Bill C-16, which uh, addresses what I think is an imaginary gap in, in both our Canadian Human Rights Act and our Criminal Code. Bill C-32, which repeals Section 159 of the Criminal Code, uh, which addresses anal sex. And, uh, Bill, C and uh, Bill C-37, which repeals the Respect for Community Acts, uh, which will now make it easier for safe injection sites to be located in different communities right across Canada. And, of course, the most recent one, Bill C-45, uh, the legalization of marijuana. And, and my question on, on all those issues is, is I think, quite simple. It, it seems to me that you're, these, these pieces of legislation seem to have a particular theme to them. And, and I'm wondering, what is it that motivates your government to, in my opinion, be so bent on recklessly uh, determined to, to destroy our social and moral fabric? <laughs> well, I completely disagree with your last statement. Our government That's is committed to ensuring that we uphold the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and ensure that everybody, one, has the freedom to be themselves, ensure that um, every individual is accorded the same respect and dignity in a country as great as Canada. As Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of Canada, I will and not ever apologize for putting legislation forward that provides the means um, uh, for individuals who qualify to access medical assistance in dying. I will not apologize for ensuring I protect the rights of those who um, have um, a different gender identity or expression. Um, Bill uh, uh, 159 of the Criminal Code has been deemed uh, unconstitutional, and we are going to move that legislation forward um, again. Um, we um, are making decisions as a government that ensures we uphold what makes this country great, which is its diversity. We benefit from having a charter of rights and freedoms, and it is my um, most important job that we ensure that we uphold those rights. Um, if I didn't do that, we wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. And uh, I will not apologize for those pieces of legislation, but I will stand up and I will shout from the rooftops as to the substantive public policy that stands behind each of those one legis legislation and then those bills. I would be happy to have a conversation with you, sir, about the po public policy reasons behind all of those pieces of legislation. And as to um, whether or not I've smoked cannabis, it is um, completely irrelevant um, whether or not I have smoked cannabis. What is relevant is the public policy reason why we put forward Bill C-45, and that is to ensure um, when we legalize, strictly regulate, and restrict access to marijuana, that we do better than the status quo right now and ensure that we keep it out of the hands of kids and the proceeds out of the hands of criminals. So if you want to challenge me on the public policy reasons behind the legislation, I'm happy to engage in that discussion. 